Hello out there and good morning traders. It is December 21st, 2023 and welcome to the Apteros DMI or Daily Market Insight. For the ES, we're going to be diving into our recap from yesterday and then we will update our levels for today. So uh, going over what was kind of the plan from yesterday, we had two lines in the sand, an upper one and the lower one. This upper line in the sand, it looked like we were going to get a lot of scenario one again for the session where we kind of just pushed up and went right into our first target area there nailing scenario one overall with the early morning open uh, drive and so forth. And then we kind of went sideways uh, for some period of time, you know, about almost two hours there, it looks like. And then the market began to sell off pretty aggressively. And in that aggressive sell off, we ended up switching into scenario two uh, for that upper line in the sand, but we really didn't get any pullback for it. It was just a, a straight breakdown of what was happening. And you know, whenever that happens, the only way to get on board with this was really to wait for lower neutral inflections to start showing a semblance of the auction process again, or you were just kind of getting on board with a breakout. But that's generally not how we advise uh, trading our DMIs. So we were looking for that acceptance picture. Once we got it, it was about being bearish underneath this line in the sand, pretty much until we kind of went down into this lower line in the sand there. And we started to see some semblance of the auction coming back right in this section here. So as we were breaking down this zone, there was a good opportunity to get short with the momentum that was happening there uh, with the extreme sell-off from this neutral zone here. And I had mentioned in the DMI that this neutral zone is going to be relatively important on the downside uh, for any type of continuation. And that's exactly what we ended up seeing. So from there, uh, we came down into our lower line in the sand and we had two scenarios down here as well. We had scenario three and four, and we had a perfect opportunity to get on board with scenario three and ride that rate up into a first target area so scenarios one and three gave us really nice inflections right from our lines in the sand, gave us a great opportunity to get on board. Scenario two, only real opportunity for us to get involved was over here um, at that neutral line in the sand after we broke it down. And then from there, it was pretty much just scenario three for the remainder of the session. And of course, with scenario four, it never really materialized because this was kind of the last three minutes of trade uh, in the session. So unless you're somebody that plays the close, I guess you could play the scalping opportunities from down here in scenario four. But Overall, it was really just about scenarios one and three, giving us those really nice inflections in those main target areas, and then a possible continuation with scenario two. Okay, so now taking a look at our landscape for today. Um, pretty interesting the way this market has kind of developed for today's pr uh, planning and prep. We have a main line in the sand here. In this particular line in the sand, I know it looks large, but it is from an upper time frame, and this really is kind of the line in the sand for that time frame. So what we're really monitoring here is any rejections coming out of this zone for scenario one. So holding up above this line in the sand is all about scenario one. We do have some neutral areas to pay attention to that are going to be important to scenario one. For example, this first neutral area here is going to be relatively crucial for scenario one to just continue for the session. So if we pull back into the section and it holds, we're going to be looking for continuation with scenario one up into the 4808s and a possible little continuation overall to the main destination, which is that 4822, uh, 4817 kind of area there. And that's really the overall you know, thesis with scenario one if it holds uh, from these neutral areas. There is an upper target there if we do end up seeing that, um, just in case you need it for today's session. You never know, right? The markets are random, and we've seen some crazy things happen, especially like kind of the sell-off yesterday, right? So just paying attention to that upper area in these neutral areas especially. So as long as these neutral areas are holding, we're still bullish up above this line in the sand. If we do come back into that line in the sand and test it, um, its general bias right now is still bullish. So we'll be looking for that coming back up into that neutral zone and then another break to the continuation of the upside. So that's kind of the ways that scenario one can kind of manifest themselves for today. Um, overall, for me, in the early part of the session, I'll be monitoring this neutral zone first. Uh, if we hold it, then it would be more of scenario one of the upside. Um, if we start to break it down, I'll be paying attention to the lower line in the sand area and looking for bullish opportunities down in this zone. Okay. Now, if that all breaks down and we get into scenario two, which is a breakdown of that line in the sand, we get well beyond these lows here and continue to the downside here. We do have a, a basic target, but it's a lot of open space down in that 4703, you know, 4696 area. That would be kind of the overall destination if that line in the sand really does crack and we get that continuation to the downside. There is uh, another stretch target even lower, but that would be you know quite a considerable day down to 4631s. But that's overall the game plan and the outlook for today's session. Right now, we are currently sitting in a bullish 
situation with from this line in the sand, and we'll be monitoring how that plays out with these neutral areas. All right. So please, you know, have a great training day out there. Mind your risk and, you know, connect with your prep and focus on your process and the things that you can control today. And let's walk away with a really solid trading session.